Today, let's talk about creating a morning routine that sets the stage for a day filled with joy and sophistication. What you do in your morning routine determines how your emotions fare during the rest of your day. I find that when I wake up and complete my morning routine, the one that works for me, I can face anything that comes my way during the day. Here's a way to look at emotional intelligence. We know that emotional intelligence is a theory that if you follow its principles, not only will you have the ability to manage your emotions and recognize the emotions of other people, you can operate at a higher level in every area of your life. You're no longer swayed to act on your emotions. You use logic and logic lights the path to your future. The morning is the time for contemplation and introspection. Your mind is free. And once you master emotional intelligence, outside forces no longer determine the course of your day. When you master emotional intelligence, the peacefulness of the morning is where you find the power to cultivate your emotional regulation. And that sets the tone for positivity for the rest of the day. You know, for the last three years, I've created a morning routine that works for the place where I am right now in my life and the plans that I have for my future self. Because my day starts with an intention to create an emotional environment that is managed and directed by my desires. And that's what I have intended for my life. So with that being said, few issues or circumstances bother me in the way that they used to. What someone says or what someone does or what they don't do doesn't impact how I feel. And it doesn't impact how I think or how I behave for the rest of the day. You know, Oprah Winfrey said, the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. And I believe that to be true. When I think about having joy in my life or when I think about what I want to do in my future or if I'm satisfied where I am in my life right now or in a situation that I'm in, I take time in the morning to think about those things concerning me and the people I love. The first thing you should do is think about this each morning. It's not thinking about the report that you have to submit or think about the one-on-one -on -one that you're gonna have later on at, your, at work. You know, those aren't the things that you should start your morning with. It's not about how bad traffic is gonna be or how high food prices are. You know, you can't change that. Those are outside forces. Those things could impact your emotions and your actions, but only if you let them. Don't let them because these are temporary conditions or situations that may or may not be in your control at all. You know, I use my mornings to focus on me and focus on my dreams and focus on examining how I handle my emotions and to determine what steps I need to take to be a better version of myself and to consider how I'm received by my loved ones. Am I being the best me for them as well? That's something that I need to always focus on, not just what I want, which is important because the whole purpose of this podcast is to get women to focus more on what they truly desire. But within my future, I do see the happiness of my family and loved ones as part of my success. The morning is the time where I make the plans for my future self. But without contemplation, without introspection, how can you know yourself? You need self-awareness. Self-awareness is the way you can be your authentic self. Otherwise, you're just faking it. Because if you're doing things because it's what other people are doing, or you're doing things it's because, because of what you think other people want you to do or their expectations, then you are not being your authentic self. On the other side, you may have the perception of yourself right now that everything is going good except for maybe this thing or maybe that thing or some area in your life where you feel like you could use a little work, but everything else is going good. And you think that overall, you're that deal, right? But the reality may be that you're not as together as you think you are or, or as together as you could be. But setting your intention in the morning can put you on the right path to experience more peaceful and happy days.